Gaming Bull presents 15 Greatest Red Dead Redemption Secrets that will make you want to replay it immediately. Red Dead Redemption is a massive game filled with a ton of content to see, but look hard enough and you'll discover some extremely clever references and easter eggs hidden throughout the Wild West. Here are the 15 most amazing secrets and easter eggs that will make you want to play Red Dead Redemption immediately. Tombstone Text the Old West is a vicious place filled with killers, disease, and beasts that will rip you to shreds in an instant. Because of this, there are tombstones littering the world, but a closer look reveals that most of them have fairly odd inscriptions. These include references to other games and films and bizarre sayings. Some of the text includes a miner who has gone underground for good, died of chronic diarrhea, and never tried to milk a bull. Word. Bigfoot. In the Undead Nightmare DLC, you can track down and kill Bigfoot. Put the creature out of its misery and you'll get an achievement called Six Years in the Making. This is in reference to the Bigfoot rumors in GTA San Andreas, which released six years prior. The Hills Have Eyes Riffing on the terrifying story of the Hills Have Eyes and the throngs of savages hiding in the hills of the desert waiting for unwary travelers to pass through, one of Red Dead Redemption's missions has John meeting a cannibal in the hills. The character, named Forrester, preys upon those who wander through his territory. He even hints at other cannibals hiding in the area, mimicking the plot of the famous Wes Craven film. Red Dead Revolver Twin Rocks Reference A mission early in the game takes players to Twin Rocks, which houses a gang of outlaws. But this isn't a new name. There's also a gang hideout in Red Dead Revolver named Twin Rocks, drawing connections between the two entries in the Red Dead franchise. Jack Marston's Future Hints John's son Jack loves to sit beneath a shady tree and read. During the John Marston and Son mission, Jack tells his father about a book in which a bounty hunter sets out to get revenge on his father's death. This no doubt hints at Jack's own future of following in John's footsteps in order to hunt down and kill the men who murdered his father, or Red Harlow who is Red Dead Revolver's protagonist. Red Dead Revolver's Red Harlow Reference Join a campfire and listen to the travelers' stories. They'll recall a dueling contest that was won by one Red Harlow, who was the protagonist of Red Dead Revolver. Furthermore, the game also references Colonel Darren and General Diego, who were also characters from Red Dead Revolver. You heard of that Red Harlow fellow? He was one of those men. Stood up to every man who blocked his path, Mexican army included. Nearly cost him his life, but he did. Unglaublich! <laughs> You never know who's listening out there, do you? There Will Be Blood reference. The 2007 film There Will Be Blood focuses on the character of Daniel Plainview. Go to the small town of Plainview in Red Dead Redemption and you could find a character that looks quite a bit like Daniel. Not only this, but the town is situated around oil derricks, which is a tongue-in-cheek nod to the film character's obsession with oil. Red vs. Blue reference. A particular achievement in Red Dead Redemption is called Chupa Thingy, tasking you to hunt down and kill a chupacabra. The name of the achievement is actually a reference to Red vs. Blue, the Halo Machinima web series created by Rooster Teeth. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly reference. When you meet the character of Seth, he's looking for the other half of a map in a grave, claiming it's gone missing. This is yet another reference to Clint Eastwood. The man made quite an impression on the western genre, so Red Dead Redemption pays respect to him whenever it can. Cheat Codes in Plain Sight the phrases needed to input many of the game's cheat codes are actually within the lines of dialogue spoken by characters. For example, when Bonnie McFarlane says the line, Don't you look fine and dandy, this line can actually be entered to unlock some of the game's various costumes. The Man with No Name Reference In Chola Springs, there is a grave which reads A Cowboy Without a Name, which is a nod to Clint Eastwood's The Man with No Name, a famous western movie about a lone desperado. Eastwood's films define the western film genre, so it only makes sense that he would be referenced again and again in the game. Halo 3 Reference The graveyard in Blackwater has a peculiar tombstone sitting amongst all the others. It reads, Wake me, if something interesting happens, which is a reference to the last line of Halo 3, which saw the Master Chief enter cryosleep. The line quickly caught on, apparently enough for Rockstar to poke fun at it. The Ghost Town of Tumbleweed The small town of Tumbleweed is said to be a ghost town in the newspapers, but if you visit it, you'll find this to be indeed true. Not a soul wanders the dusty streets. On top of this, voices can be heard in the distance as well as barking dogs. All we know is that something happened in this town and it's pretty spooky to wander through. Following recent reports of ghost sightings in the abandoned town of Tumbleweed, visitors are continuing to tell of unnatural happenings and strange feelings, states the newspaper clipping. Undead Hollywood Undead Nightmare is chock full of references to various zombie films, but the game also paid its respects to the creators that brought these films to life. There are various zombies based off of famous horror artists and those who dabbled in the genre, such as Sam Raimi, Michael Johnson, George Romero, and Wes Craven. 
The Wilhelm Scream The Wilhelm Scream has gone down in the annals of film history. Originating during filming of the 1953 movie Charge at Feather River, when the character Wilhelm leaves this mortal coil, he lets out a gut-wrenching scream, which has been reused in countless films. And the folks at Rockstar couldn't resist the opportunity to reference this. Enemies you kill will let out this hair-raising scream at random, making for fun-filled firefights. All right, come on, Marston. And that wraps it up. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it on Twitter and Facebook. And why not consider subscribing? We upload some really cool videos almost every day. Thank you for watching this video, and happy gaming!